Good evening, VC. North Carolina Vinyl Picker here, a.k.a. Art. And I'm um, having uh, my part two tonight to my first part show, which was last night when we talked about the top my top ten uh, records and uh, CDs uh, that I had for uh, 2021. And tonight I'm going to go over all the things that I have found in the last uh, week, pretty much since Tuesday. Um, as far as uh, antique stores, uh, record stores, Amazon, and a few other things, uh, we're going to uh, look at these um, items. And um, I'm going to kick this off with uh, a 45 that I got in the mail. And uh, Miss Olivia Newton-John. Promo. Yeah, I like that a lot. And then also I got these. These were Japanese pressings. And I seen these yesterday. I went to a record show here in Charlotte. And I thought uh, a lot of stuff was way overpriced. But, I mean, if you want the good stuff, you got to pay for it. I understand. And my list is getting smaller on what I want to get well, as far as the older stuff. So I'm coming to a close on that eventually. On the uh, older stuff, and then they'll be just uh, picking up uh, the newer releases when they come out. Um, Beyond and Before, the BBC recording, 69 to 70. The Yes. This is back when um, Bill Bruford was in the band. And uh, it has uh, something coming. Uh, no opportunity necessary. No experience required. Uh, for everybody. Astral Traveler, yeah, great stuff. Peter Banks was in the band then, awesome guitarist. He was there before uh, Steve Howe. He was in the band for the first two albums. Then I also found these items in a thrift store the other day. And this is the band called Freedom. And there's a promo. And I never I never heard of this band before. And then I uh, I looked them, in, looked them up while I was in the store. And there was actually members from uh, Crocal Harem that Gary Brooker had kicked out of the band. And then they formed their own band. After a whiter shade of pale, from what I understand. And here is the white label promo of this album. And I listened to it. It's very good. I really liked it. I liked it a lot. And then I found master, original master recording of Super Tramp, Crime of the Century. And I've seen these um, online. They're pretty expensive. But I got this for 35 I think it was. See, I think it was $30, $30 for this uh, nice copy of uh, my favorite Super Tramp album. And then also got this, uh, scored this 45. You know, I like the Bee Gees and Olivia and the whole Grease thing. So, uh, must be generational. I just want to be your everything. Andy Gibb. I got that, and then I found this, Olivia, Soul Kiss. That's on the MCA. It's a great album, another great album. Okay, and then I got some stuff in the mail. Um, Pat Metheny, Side Eye, New York City. Pat Metheny was with, uh, has played lots of jazz, different kinds of jazz. And then I also got the 50th anniversary of the band. This sounds still in the shrink, so it's a little shiny there. But these were on sale on Amazon on Black Friday, and I picked them up for like, I think it was like 30 bucks for both of these. So, I mean, they had like 50 different uh, records that day. Um, for sale on Amazon. So I said, well, I'm just going to go ahead and grab a couple 
while I have the uh, opportunity there. And then I went to a, th a thrift store. When did I go to the thrift store? Yesterday. Antique mall, too. And I found these. And then um, Tony, uh, two from the trunk, was showing this. That he said this was really, this was like lullabies that Linda Ronstadt did that were put into song and um, dedicated to the one I love. And as you can see on the back, it was 99 cents. All the CDs in this uh, shop was 99 cents. And they had a copy of, uh, of Eat a Peach, which I didn't have. I used to have it on vinyl back in the day. So I picked those up for a buck a piece. And then uh, I was going around the back. I was getting ready to leave. And on a table, there was some 45s. And I saw this one. Don't stop and never going back again. It's like, it's so clean for as old as this thing. In 1977, this sucker is clean. I put it, I, I immediately put it in a plastic. But that was a nice pickup. I'll put that up somewhere. And I got those and that. I'm all caught up here. Um, Want to give a shout out to uh, the old goats final and two from the trunk, Tony P. I didn't mention them last night in my video, and um, they're one of two of my favorite channels. Along with, I, I talked about uh, the Happy Hippie Stoner Stash Box, the Wax, Harry's Music Room, Rachel's Music Man. And I want to give a, sh a special shout out to Topper. Hopefully he uh, plays his guitar soon and gets on here and makes a video for us to see him. I hope he's feeling well. And um, I hope that um, also that the old goat uh, recovers from his uh, sickness. Hope he's feeling better. These, uh, these were here I found the other day at the antique mall. I got a couple of them. They're in the plastic. But I found a, a copy of uh, Hergus Ridge, Mike Oldfield. And it's a promo, as you can see. It's a white label promo. So uh, when I saw the price on there, I think it was $5. I just, I couldn't pick it up quick enough. I love the promos. You know, if you watch my uh, promo show and my promo contest, I just, when I see a promo out in the wild, if it's an artist I really like, it's going home with me. You know, unless it's, you know, crazy price, but. If we pick them up for, you know, $3, $5, $7 for a promo, and the, and the vinyl is nice, I pick them up all day long. And here at last, the Bee Gees Live. I found this at the uh, antique mall that I went to. And this was five bucks, double album, all their hits, with a big medley of the real early stuff. And then I seen this, and the rest of these albums were like $3, or five dollars. There's none of them more than that. I don't believe. But if there is, I'll. They got a tag on her. Local Gentry. How about some Bobby Gentry? I've been getting into her. Uh, I really like her music. So she's one of the gals that's going in my gal club here. With Olivia and uh, Tori Amos and Linda Ronstadt and a few others. We're gonna put Bobby Gentry in there. In that club. Found this one. For uh, five bucks. Local Gentry. And I found this one. Children of the World. The Bee Gees. I didn't have this one. This is one of their later ones. Got a few of their disco songs on it. And this was uh, was like three, four dollars too. So that's another one I didn't have. And all of these have uh, the vinyl looks nice on. This one's got a little bit of a tear on the top. Everybody knows who these guys are. The best of cream. Yep. You got Jack Bruce and um, Eric Clapton. And you can't forget the drummer. Who's their drummer? This thing's kind of beat up. Look how clean it is, though. I looked it over real good. Ginger Baker, yeah, you're right. Good guess. Good guess there down in the front row. So what songs are on this there? 
Born under a bad sign, strange brew, white room, badge, sunshine of your love, spoonful, tales of the brave Ulysses. Best of cream. Can't go wrong with this, especially at the price. I think I'll have to spin this one tonight. That's going on the turntable. How about McCartney for $5? I saw this. I used to have this album back in the day. I had uh, all the Beatles' first solo albums that came out. And uh, listened to all of them. And I said, oh, this is going to have to, this is probably beat up. I said, you know, as old as this is and um, beat up as the cover is, this thing was like spot clean. So I said, well, $5 all day for that. And how about these next two? Um, the Good, the Bad, and the Ugly. These were a dollar. I like the old movie um, theme albums, like all the James Bond ones and the Clint Eastwood ones and the John Wayne ones. So if I see them in the wild, I pick them up for a buck. And how about Victories at Sea? I think I have 34 or 35 copies of Victory at Sea now. But they're all different. Some of them are double albums. This one here cover has got the red around it. I've never seen this one. Um, I've seen it, but I have, I have them all lined up over there. Everybody knows that uh, I was in the military for 20 years and my daughter is in now serving. So whenever I see these uh, Victory at Sea, I pick them up. They're pretty cool. And they sound good too. They're hardly, they haven't been played. This was $3. The Al Miola Project. You know, I like my jazz fusion and um, Al Miola Soaring Through a Dream. I used to have a CD of this, but I've never owned the album. And I've seen it there. And that was one of that was of Al's uh, albums that I was missing. This one here is a little harder to find. This was later in his uh, discography. This would have been um, probably around 85. 85. Yeah, they were getting close to the time where they weren't making um, vinyl records anymore in 85. It was getting to the end of the run. But this is a great album. And to have it on vinyl now for, and for $3. I got to go back to that place. How about Jenny C. Riley? It's called The Girl Most Likely. On her motorcycle. Sealed. Sealed copy. And this one here was uh, says $1.29. It's got a sticker on it. But I believe it was 3 bucks. But I want to get back over to that uh, thrift store. How about Pavlov's Dog? Sound of the Bell. Promo. As you can see on the bottom. Another one of them promos that I couldn't pass up. We're getting down to the heavy hitters at the end here. The ones I found. White Label Promo. A Pavlov's Dog. And I want to guess you out there. Anybody know who played drum on this album? Who came in and played the drums? Them, they had their own drummer. They had a drummer. Um, then um, the guest artist on this album would be none other than William Bruford. Yep, Bill Bruford. Bill Bruford played on this album. And it's right there. William Bruford. He sure did. A lot of people don't know that. I told a bunch of people about that. Okay, the American Metaphysical Circus. And I believe this was the guy from Love. And I've seen this on the on the VC. As you can see, I paid five dollars for this. And the uh, vinyl on it is very good. So this was the uh, one of the musician that was the organ player, I believe, uh, Joseph Bird. I think he was the man. Anyway, he was uh, in um, in Love, the band Love. How about the Incredible String Band for four dollars and fifty cents? I believe this is their first album, and uh, I think it was Mazzy who told me about these guys originally. And this is their second album that I picked up of these guys. 
you know, I like Fairport Convention. I like, um, I like the Straubs. I like a lot of those bands that are folk, folk rock. And these guys seem to fit right in there, but these guys here supposedly are, have more, uh, of a psych to them. And how about this album? Somebody on the internet on the, uh, VC showed this one, Tea Garden and Van Winkle. But I can't remember who it was. And they said the album was proggy and it's on the ADCO label. Yeah. So I have to give this one a listen. This was $3 and 50 cents. And then I found this one for $6 and 50 cents with the sticker on here, with all the uh, cellophane on here. And uh, Barry McGuire, Eve of Destruction. I've seen it up on the wall in there. And then I saw the price and I said, and I know this just came out. This is like a record store day. They re-released it first time in 50 years or something. And then this here comes up. It's an OG still on the shrink for $6. That was the first record I found when I went there the other day. And then this one here. Everybody, anybody knows who um, Peter Robinson, Peter Robinson's a keyboard player that played with uh, Brand X and he played with, um, hang on one second, I got it here. He played um, a keyboard player for Phil Collins and Phil's first couple albums. Um, played with Eric Clapton, David Bowie, Al Stewart. Uh, Quartermass, Stanley Clark's School Days, Brand X. He played on several Brand X albums. Uh, Al Jarreau, uh, Frank Zappa, Berlin, Sean Phillips. And he played with all these different uh, people. And he's also done uh, film scores and uh, other things. And um, Pete Robinson, keyboard player, was on this album. And this is a Japanese pressing. But when I bought it, I think it was like five bucks. I looked at it and I said, I've seen this cover before somewhere. It had to have been back when I was younger. And you can see here, and this album here is a, it's a, it's a not a double album, it's a single album that it has on uh, electric guitar, Lee Rittenauer. Um, bass is Bill Dixon. Keyboards is Don Grusin and Pete Robinson. And um, arrangements by Ernie Watts. So, and then I looked it up and then I, I looked at the dead wax on here and it said there's only four copies, different type were different and they're all Japanese press and saw them. I looked at the cover. I said, well, yeah, it does look a little bit like the Japanese. And then I went ahead and looked at the vinyl and then checked it and it, and it said, yeah, printed in Japan. So anyway, that was a good find. I'm looking for um, another album of his, and um, it's not easy to find, but uh, I'm going to keep on, keep on searching for it. I think it's the band's called Contraband, and uh, they only made the one album, and Pete Robinson is on that. He was also on lots of other projects. You can Google him, look him up, but uh, just an excellent keyboard player. Kind of like Dave Stewart, who Dave Stewart played with with all kinds of people uh, like National Health. And he played with uh, Hatfield in the North and he played with Bruford and lots of, uh, I, I like that guy too. He's another great keyboard player I like. Well, that's about all I got for tonight. And uh, we're running here almost 20 minutes. I've been uh, showing you all this stuff, but that's, uh, we're all caught up now. So tomorrow, if I do get a chance tomorrow to go out to a uh, uh, antique mall, or a thrift store and I pick anything up, it'll be on Tuesday night's show. So everybody stay safe out there. Be good. And uh, we'll see you Tuesday night. Uh, thank you for all the new subscribers I've gotten. I want to thank um, everybody for subbing. And if you like my show, um, subscribe and then hit the bell and you'll know when I have another show coming up. But I really enjoy doing these and I'm looking forward to Tuesday night. We still have to start uh, showing the Stephen Wilson CDs. So I think I'll grab uh, maybe I think I have about 40 or 50 of them. So I'll probably grab like half and then we'll do the other half another night. So 
We're at 20 minutes. I'm going to wrap it up. You all have a great evening, and we'll talk to you soon.